Hi y'all, it's Andrea. Today I'm super excited to have received my High Street Owl post. This is a monthly Harry Potter subscription. This guy, I'm assuming is my October box. It's Today is November 21st, I believe. Um, so I did message him when it didn't arrive and she responded that she was having some personal troubles and the boxes were late, but that they were coming, don't worry. So I was very happy to get this today. And I still have the November one coming. I don't know when, I don't know when she'll get it. I did have to go ahead and cancel though because I already paid for two months and hadn't gotten one. So I was like, Ur. so canceled it. Um, so we'll just see what these hold, if they're good enough to continue and if she works everything out. Um, I think she said at this time she was pausing all new subscriptions so she got caught up. This was $54 shipping tax and all. Let's see what we got. From the unboxings I had watched before I ordered it, I was very impressed. Coffee break. She also already smiling. This is what I say when I open it up. This guy's on top. Quibbler. It's like the cover of a quibbler. The Wizarding World's alternate voice. Muggle murders. Rise. Dozens dies. Death Eaters attack. A nation in panic. Ministry protection measures in place. This, I love this. I love this print. I think you said it's print. It's like um, poster material. I'm definitely hanging this up on my Harry Potter bookshelf. Happy so far. Okay, and the rest looks like this guy. First I'm pulling is this card. This is like a silver little shiny, shiny silver envelope with a wax seal. Um, that's a letter N, I think. I think it's a fancy letter N or the number 16. I'm not sure which. Let's open this up and see what it is. You know what? I need a letter opener, and I just saw some for sale at the, my travel agency. Not for sale, for giveaway, and I didn't grab one. That would be perfect for something like this when you don't want to rip your wax seal. You can just, this is taking much longer than I anticipated, sorry. Oh, Lord have mercy. Come on, woman. Next time I go in there, I'm definitely grabbing one of those letter openers. I had to go and finish paying our fee for our cruise that we're taking in February. We're going to Belize. Cozumel. Mahogany Bay. It's our first ever cruise and the kids are super excited and so am I. Okay. This is so funny because the last box I opened, um, I believe, I believe it was Cauldron Crate. I can't remember, but the last Harry Potter box I opened was Death Day stuff. No, it was Alchemy for the Skin. It was um, Death Day themed. This is the invitation. I didn't get an invitation in that box. This is super cool, heavy card stock. Um, it says, you're invited to Death Day Party. Rest in peace, October 31st, 1492. As I said before, that's the year Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Sir Nicholas de Mimsey Peppington. Saturday, October 1st, 1992, Death Day Party Hall, dungeons near the staircase, Hogwarts Castle, Scotland. I didn't, I didn't realize that Hogwarts was in Scotland. How did I miss that? If I knew that, I forgot. I assumed it was in England. Please join us for tainted food, head hockey, and a ghostly orchestra 
in commemoration of Sir Nicholas 500th death day. Love it, love it, love it. I'll put that in the book with my other death day. I think I got a, um, I can't remember what all I got, but I know it was a breakdown of who all was there and what they were doing. Maybe it was an invitation. Oh, it is an N for Nicholas. Okay. Next. Oh my God, that's cool. Drought of living death. You guys, that is, it's like dipped in wax. There's a little, little tiny piece of it fell off. Um, it's a skull and it's all dipped in sealing wax. Drought of living death. That is super cool packaging. I will proudly put this with my other potions. Seems like I got a drought of living death potion. Oh yeah, it was in a red plastic bottle. This is much better. Love it. And looks like we have a wearable. There's a lot of squigglies attached. It's a black. Looks like t-shirt so far. If I can get all the squigglies off of it. Love it. Morgan and Burke's Wizarding Artifacts and Curiosities 13B Nocturne Alley. It's a black, very soft t-shirt. It says Borgen and Burks on it. This is super cool. It is a size smaller than I usually wear, and I know that I put the correct size on there, so maybe she just didn't have it. <clears throat> this will work though, I'm sure it'll fit. Happy with that. So far, everything is awesome. Now I'm gonna have a song stuck in my head. This has to be an umbrage item. This is all I see at top. What does that say? Dolores Jane Umbridge, Blooming Mums Scent. Six ounces, soy, handmade. Obvi, a candle. Oh my gosh, that smells good. Oh, you guys, it does. It smells like fresh flowers, not perfumey flowers. Fresh cut, stick your nose in the bloom flowers. I'm guessing it's mum, like it says. It's very light, fresh. Oh, I, I have to burn it. The others I've gotten in my other boxes of candles, I haven't burned any. None of them have smelt really good. So it wasn't worth, you know, wasting the cool object. This, got, this I gotta burn. This smells wonderful. Next, I've got this little velvet drawstring bag. I'm wearing my Durstrom earrings today. The Durstrom ship that I got in another box. Thought it would be fitting for opening this, this box. Death Eater Mask, Bellatrix, Death Eater Mask of Bellatrix Lestrange. <gasps> Lord have mercy, that's creepy. High Street Outpost exclusive. Y'all, that is so friggin' cool. That is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. I love it, and the details so good. This is all raised. The facial features, the nose, and this is so cool and so detailed. Love it. Okay, next. 
this little black box. It's very light. Oh, it's creepy already. Some wispy black, wispy black stuff. It's a Dementor. Oh my gosh. Like an ornament? This is creepy. Look, at you can see the skull underneath. It's a black um, skeleton or just the torso of one with the arms. And it comes with a little, you can, um, you know, put this in there and hang it. It's um, made of plastic. The skeleton's plastic. This is like some kind of fabric and string and a rope thing to hang it. I'll have to work on that later. Get it, uh, get the rope in there so I can, you could put it on your tr Christmas tree, I'm sure. Always hang it up in your collection somewhere. And this is the last thing on the bottom. No, oh no, it's not. Let me make sure I've got everything out of these squigglies. Oh, okay, that's what everything's in the box. Okay, so this is the last thing. A print of the um, Thestral. Thestral, yep. Yeah. It says, behavior, social, lives in herds, extremely clever and loyal. White eyes that look both expressive. That, oh, white eyes that lack both expression and pupils. Diet carnivorous. Attracted to the smell of blood, skeletal body, face with reptilian features, distinction only visible to those who have witnessed death or accepted its reality, wide leathery wings that resemble of bats, Ministry of Magic classification XXXX, considered rare and dangerous, only experienced wizards should attempt to train or domesticate. This is a thicker, silky cardstock. It's nice. Okay, and last is our little sheet that tells everything we got. Death in the Dark Arts is this one's theme. Okay, Quibbler front page replica. Let's recap. Bellatrix Lestrange Death Mask. Death Eater Mask Pin, Borgen and Burt's T-Shirt, Drought of Living Death Potion, Dementor Replica, Dolores Umbridge Office Candle, Smells Wonderful, Thestral Infograph, and Nearly Headless Nick Death Day Party Invite. I'm very pleased with this box. I look forward to seeing what's in the next one. Um, she did an aw awesome job curating this. What'd you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you like to watch unboxings and I'll see you at the next one.